bright, colorful work texts that can be used by themselves or combined with other components are the heart of the Early Bird Kindergarten program. There is a solid progression of K-4 math readiness skills in the A book and K-5 introductory arithmetic skills in the B book. The optional activity books have a variety of coloring, pasting, and writing activities, as well as games. They add in the element of hands-on activities and fun. The user-friendly teacher guide ties everything together. The two textbooks, level A and B, can be used one book per year as separate K-4 and K-5 programs, or with quicker pacing, you could use both books in one year as a kindergarten program. There are two editions of the Early Bird Program, the Common Core, or CC edition, and the Standards edition, or we call it the SE. They are very similar, but there are some differences in the topics covered and the order in which they are covered. For instance, time and money are not introduced in the Common Core edition at all, like they are in the Standards edition. But both cover numbers to 100, as well as addition and subtraction to 10, Mathematical concepts in both are systematically presented and reinforced using the Singapore concrete to pictorial to abstract approach. Both utilize manipulatives, although they are different ones, and both are based on the teacher-student interaction. The early bird textbooks, A and B, include the actual instruction and can be used independently of the activity books or even the teacher guide. The various options give you a lot of flexibility in terms of expense without any real sacrifices in terms of actual mathematical instruction. The student consumable textbooks are delightful with colorful, engaging, almost entertaining graphical representations of people and animals. Brief teacher instructions on how to use the worksheet and what manipulatives to incorporate are located at the bottom of each textbook page. These instructions are labeled Introduction, Development, and Consolidation. Suggestions on how to approach a topic and reminders about specific vocabulary to introduce are likewise provided. However, the teacher is responsible for planning the suggested pre-workbook activities, drawing the student into mathematical discussions, and when necessary, even guiding the student through the workbook exercises. The teacher also must determine the amount of material to cover in one day. All of these things are provided with the teacher guides, but are not absolutely necessary to enjoy and profit from the early bird workbooks. Review pages at the end of each unit serve as assessments. Manipulatives used by these differ slightly between the SE and the CC editions and include linking cubes, counters, domino cards, craft sticks, and geometric shapes. There are suggestions for extra materials, most of which are simple items from around the house. The activity books are loosely based on well-known children's rhymes and stories and parallel the textbooks with a nice variety of hands-on activities. There are notes on the bottom of the early bird text pages that indicate what activity pages will go with the lesson. They are optional in terms of the early bird program, but they could also be done completely separate from the early bird program as a math supplement. The teacher guide ties everything together providing detailed lesson plans that include reduced copies of all student pages from both the textbooks and the activity books with answers filled in. A set of reproducible black line masters is provided in the back. Let's take a look at the teacher guides from both editions and compare the differences. In each, Unit 5 covers shapes and over the course of the unit, the same skills are targeted in the lessons. However, there are differences in the order as can be seen in this side-by-side -side comparison which means that to look at a comparable lesson on squares, we have to look at the fourth lesson in the unit for the Standards Edition and Lesson 12 of the CC Edition. Each set of lesson plans includes objectives, a listing of the Common Core or California Standards that are applied, materials needed, vocabulary list, and the teaching sequences. The two lessons are referencing the same pages in the respective textbooks. The basic teaching sequences are similar between the two guides, each includes an introduction, developments, consolidation, and conclusions, but there are some differences in the actual instruction, and the CC teacher guide is more detailed. You might notice that the activity book instructions are included right along with the lessons in the CC guide, while in the SE guide, they are provided in a section at the end of each unit. Also in this section are reduced copies of a big book, which is a series of large-sized storybooks that are designed for classroom demonstrations. 
Due to their expense, we don't carry these big books and they are not necessary for the math instruction. However, the stories, along with some of the activities, are in the books of another series from Marshall Cavendish called Maths With. For instance, the Goldilocks book parallels the big book and activity book used in the shape units of Early Bird. Although the lesson plans in the Early Bird teacher guides parallel and duplicate the instructions found in the textbooks, the overall organization is a little clearer in the teacher guide and the teaching methodology is more obvious. Using both the activity books and the teacher guides will round out and make the program more full-bodied. But the actual mathematical instruction is still strong using just the textbooks. There is a set of activity books for the SE edition and another set for the CC edition. These differ in page order and occasionally in content, and it would be frustrating to try to use one edition with the teacher guide of the other edition. The Early Bird program is an engaging, comprehensive, user-friendly, and flexible kindergarten math program. The student completing the material in either of the Early Bird versions will be ready for Primary Math 1A in any edition or Math and Focus 1A. If you have any questions about the Early Bird program or Singapore math in general, please contact one of our consultants. You can reach us during our normal office hours, which are Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Our phone number is 888-841-3456. Our email is consultants at rainbowresource.com. We can also be reached via live chat from the website.